Well, hello everyone. We've made it to the Adirondacks. We are camping at Fish Creek Pond Campground. And I must say, last night was our first night here, and it was very nice. This campground has over two or 300 camp spots, and every one of them has waterfront access with steps to get down to the water. So that's pretty cool. We had some neighbors, but they left this morning. They might be back. They were in a van and a truck camper. And then we have some neighbors here. So all in all, it's really nice here. We've enjoyed it so far. Now, like I said, we are in the Adirondacks. We are near Lake Placid. We are about 40 minutes from Lake Placid. So I think we're gonna drive over there today and check that area out and see what's going on. Howdy y'all. I slept pretty good last night and it's cold today, it's 30. Yeah, I didn't tell you, it got so cold. So yesterday it wasn't bad at all, but we knew a cold front was coming in and it got down into the 30s last night. So it was very cold when we woke up this morning. And we're at 1,700 feet. I thought we'd be a lot higher. Now the Adirondacks does have the highest peak in New York, over 5,000 feet in elevation. I think it's 5,600, I'll have to check. But we're at the base of it on the western end yeah. so east of here it was where the tallest peaks in new york are located so we are very anxious to get around and see what's going on out here the drive here was beautiful yesterday they do have showers at this campground water hookups but not every site they're kind of dispersed in between each camp spot no electrical hookups but you are able to rent a generator here from there's certain specific times for that and i did hear that in the summertime this place is packed and you are lucky to get a camp spot here in the summertime if you don't book it way months ahead of time so we got pretty lucky i think it's kind of their off season a little bit because it is a little chilly you can't really swim several people are still taking their boats out onto the water might be a little too cold for us to do that we have found other things to do in the area that we're really excited about especially checking out the lake placid that town we're really excited to go do that let's go all right, y'all, a change of plans. We got to Lake Placid while we were driving around. When we got on a hill, hitting our brake on a hill and coming to a stop, we noticed that the oil pressure light was coming on. Well, we just put more oil in it and it's never consumed oil before. So we know that now it is consuming oil. And I think that's a new development. We've never had to put oil in it and it's consuming quite a bit. There's no leaks under the vehicle. So we turned back around and came back to camp because I think that was a sign for us that we need to go ahead and move forward with getting a new truck. And that is what we decided we're gonna do. We're gonna stay here one more night and go ahead and head back to Arkansas. So that's what Kelly's doing right now. She's looking for used trucks. And we're looking at an F-250 is what we're trying to look at. And our game plan is, is if we look at an F-250, that means we can pull the trailer with the F-250 as we're looking for getting a new camper. Uh, sliding camper and I think that's the best course of action. We've been analyzing our situation and we have a 21 hour drive back to our hometown. So we think we're going to go ahead and pack up and get going because it is supposed to be in the in, 30s again. again. Right? And that's not going to motivate us to get up early at all and get on the ball. So we're going to drive about three hours from here. I booked something for us to stay at and then we can get up early and it won't be cold because we'll be in a house and we can just drive. Mm -hmm. as far as we can get as far as we can get hopefully we only have two days of driving it's crazy to think 21 hours from home well let's get started Well, that didn't take long. We've got everything packed up and we got a three hour drive. And we're gonna stop and get something to eat because it's five o'clock and we're both starving. It's five o'clock somewhere. No, it's five o'clock here. So it was starting to ding even worse. So we stopped in town and got some uh, motor oil just to top it off. I have a feeling we're gonna have to do this the full length back to, to our home state. There is no leak like we said, and we've already done one court before this. And that was back when we were in Rochester at that Airbnb. And now, we're going through another, a whole other court. And I think we've only done, how many miles do you think, babe? I have no idea. While he's doing that, I'm gonna try to find something for us to eat. It took a whole court and it just got to the middle of the line on the dipstick. It's never done that. Kelly did find a good place to eat, or she thinks it's good based on reviews, huh? It looks okay. Looks good. Let's go get something to eat.
Well, that was delicious. Surprisingly, it was really good. Yeah, it was simple and delicious. And that root beer was one of the best root beers I've ever had in my mm -hmm. life. Yeah, they, cream soda was pretty good. They started making root beer in 1891. Well, now we're gonna head to our Airbnb and we'll just see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Going into the darkness right now, just to double check, make sure we didn't leave anything in this Airbnb. I don't see anything in there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Good morning, y'all. We are still trying to also think about what we're gonna do when we get back. We've been talking very, very heavily about yeah, our I options. Yeah, got like four hours of sleep last night. It's just what happens when you're trying to figure out your life. You know, when we decided to actually go full-time, Kelly and I spent two days not sleeping trying to figure out exactly what it was we were gonna do with our lives. You also get a little excited trying to figure out what's next in your chapter. Where do you go from here? And as of right now, I don't know. We do know we need a new vehicle. And we have to be specific on what kind of vehicle we want because now we're rethinking continuing pulling this and doing the tent thing because we're realizing with the truck camper that our storage is literally gonna be cut in half. I know that sounds crazy, but how we have this set up, our storage is literally gonna be cut in half and we use everything. We use every single thing in this truck and in the trailer. So we have to keep that in mind. Not to mention if we're already using all that and we wanna get backpacks, where are we gonna put backpacks? But Kelly's not cooking this morning. Surprise, surprise. So instead of getting normal breakfast like we sometimes normally do, we got what we sometimes normally get for lunch <laughs> because one, we had no energy, we were tired because no coffee, yep. and we went to North Star Nutrition. Where are we located? We're in uh, West Syracuse, West, North, somewhere. We're in Syracuse outside. But yeah, we wanted to get a protein shake, so we got some protein and our, I got collagen in oh, mine, oh. Cody didn't and um, lift off so we have energy so it's like coffee and for later on we got these little protein balls. protein balls i like these things but that means we can get on the road faster and keep driving well it's 1 25 eastern time i think we might get central time today i'm not sure but we just passed over into pennsylvania one state down a couple more to go i think we're yeah. gonna go pennsylvania ohio kentucky tennessee arkansas and our spirits are really good because I've been doing a lot of research online. Of course, I have nothing else to do. And we also have a couple of, couple of family members home that are keeping their eye out. They're looking, they're talking to people about what's out there for sale. So I don't know if we've told you exactly what we want, but we are looking for a Ford F-250, not brand new, obviously. But that's what we're looking for. Depending on diesel or regular gas is gonna be what your model it is because of the weight we're gonna be putting on the truck. So a lot of research going on, a lot of people helping us out, so that's good. And I do wanna give a shout out to our good friend Jack because Jack, man, if we called that guy up, we told him what we were looking for, and he told us, if you get a 2020 or newer, get gas. If you get 2016 to 2020, or sorry, 2019, get diesel because the gas engine was weak back then, but now the gas is more powerful, more fuel efficient than the diesel, the newer models. So thank you, Jack. You saved us a lot of time because we were so confused yes. on what we need to do with gas or Not diesel. Not only with that, just there's so much more research we need to do looking for a truck, looking for a slide-in truck camper bed. So like this morning, we have already changed our minds. We talked about maybe doing an offer a trailer, but then we just don't want to tow a trailer that goes back to us. someone stealing it, leaving, we, where are we gonna leave it if we want a backpack or kayak camp? So now we're back to the slide-in truck camper bed. We're talking about storage, where we're gonna put everything. We know that the back seats in the boards are really big. We're gonna remove the back seats, obviously. So we have a lot more storage back there as well. So another thing I just thought about that I've never thought about before was Kelly is wanting to cook outside. And the thing I never thought about before was storing our mountain bikes a different way. And it occurred to me, that we like to ride mountain bike trails. We don't usually pull our bikes out for just riding around a camp or down forest roads. We specifically like single track trails. 
We know that there are transportation bags that you can take your bikes apart and put in the bags, which means it compresses down the mountain bike. If we did that, then we also can keep Kelly's table, we can keep all her cooking set up, plus something she really likes. What is it that you really need in your life, Angel Princess? Outside? Yes. Uh, you just told me. My lounger? Her lounger. Her lounger. She loves her lounger. Her water. <laughs> I need my lounger. We also do want to keep the Jolka, which is our outdoor shower tankless hot water heater, because we still like to use that when we're boondocking by a creek or a lake if the water's really clean, because then that saves water in the water tank and we can boondock there for longer periods of time. Plus, we love that shower. It is better than some inside showers that we've used. It's a great shower system. So we want to find somewhere to store that as well. We're just going to pass through Pennsylvania and we'll check in again with our new thoughts when we hit Ohio. See yeah. you in a little bit. Who knows what we'll be thinking. We have finally made it to hopefully our last Airbnb. It is 10 o'clock. We are in central time. We're in Kentucky. We left upstate New York and we're only nine hours we from home. made it all the way here. So we're hoping tomorrow we can just drive all the way home and be there and we can rest because now we're exhausted all over again. <laughs> and for people that are new to the channel, we don't actually have a home. This We're hitting right. Kelly's parents' well, house, yeah. but our hometown. Our hometown, we just so. call that home now. So yeah. that's where we're headed. So we'll so. see y'all in the morning. I'm so tired. <laughs> see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's early. Well, the sun's already up. It's probably seven. We got up at six. And it's seven. And we hate to leave this very cute Airbnb. I mean, it is so cute. It's like, it's a tiny, it's like the perfect size. I don't know what we like about these little tiny places. Like the Airbnb in Rochester was 800 square feet. <laughs> and I'm like, this is perfect. I, I mean, house, like. I would never want to clean anything bigger than that. It's right off of a lake too. So it's called Rough River Lake. And it's just really cool over here. We're in Kentucky. What else blows my mind? Is there something I really want to see here? And we're only 50 minutes from it, but we can't. We'll have to come back. Mammoth Caves National Park. Oh. <laughs> we'll have to come back. We have no time. We have got to book it. So tomorrow's Sunday, so we can rest tomorrow. And then Monday, we can immediately go out. I'm going to pick the trucks out online. I want to go look at and we can go from there. So fingers crossed on that. We're but we have a good. nine hour drive today and then we should be in Arkansas. For breakfast, Kelly and I decided we're gonna go to, as Jonathan calls it, the Cracker Barrel unit. <laughs> because it's a solid place to- yeah, uh, You can never go wrong with Cracker Barrel. No, nah, my favorite thing to get at Cracker Barrel for breakfast, chicken fried steak. Or is it the old grandpa's chicken fried steak breakfast? I think it's grandpa's breakfast. Yeah. I actually get grandma's breakfast. Kelly gets grandma's, I get grandpa's. I'm pretty good at backing up nowadays. I got it down to an art. And Kelly just said, stop, you knocked over a trash can. Let's see. Let me pull forward. So Miss Angel Princess, get in the truck. Oh, she's getting okay, in. You can go back further. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, we're burning all. <laughs> see it and I smell it. <laughs> yeah, it's bad, y'all. It's real bad. We were talking about yeah, the bear Jew this morning. We were like, she, she's done so good. She's worked so hard. And she's like, listen guys, I'm done, but you need to go home. And she's you need like, to drop I'm me off enough. at your dad's. And <laughs> I've had enough, just leave me in my resting place. <laughs> <laughs> tired of this. Tired of it. <laughs> no, but we're gonna keep her. Can't get rid of her. I mean, she ain't worth nothing to nobody else, so we're just gonna keep her. Well, yeah, ended up having to stop and get gas, and when we did, it's time to put more oil in the engine. Went ahead and got two quarts this time, because I don't know if we'll be able to make it all the way to our home state or our hometown with the what we have left. So we'll go ahead and keep putting more oil in it. But I'm trying to protect the engine just in case we can just rebuild the engine in the future. That way we can end up having two vehicles in the future in case Kelly and I ever decide to have a home again. We could have what we're about to go purchase in this or you know whatever we might end up doing. But since this thing's already paid for and been paid for for a while and it's not worth anything to anybody else, might as well try to take care of it, right? And then that's why we're also going back to our home state so we can have somewhere to leave this. Because if we traded this thing in, we might, if we're lucky, get like a thousand dollars for this truck. All right, time to hit the road. Never mind. This thing just took two full quarts of oil. So it's starting to consume oil even faster. But the good news is, is we're just six hours from home. I think six hours. We're in Tennessee. And I, 
think we're doing pretty good. Kelly's making some phone calls right now for some trucks. So she's doing some shopping while we're driving. So Kelly just got off the phone with the dealership and they were talking about payload because she's been doing so much research on payload. I mean, look at her over here. Looks like she's in a at a office. So what have you found out, Aiden Francis? That every payload is different on every vehicle I'm looking at. So I have to call and find out because Google doesn't give me much information. And we already found the camper that we want. So we might end up actually going ahead and getting the camper too. And that's what's making this purchase such a big deal because we know the exact model we want for storage purposes because she's did all, done all that research yesterday so that we can be prepared with the proper truck because that is the most important thing. Your foundations are always the most important. Just like when you build a house, your vehicle, everything, it's always the foundation being the most important. And that's now what she's trying to do research on. We made it. We're in Arkansas. Two days and some day to hours, three, four hours. Two days and three hours. Couple thousand miles, I guess. I don't know how many miles. It was, was a long journey, but we're here. From we're upstate tired. New York all the way down to the border of Texas and Arkansas. Mm, I am ready <gasps> to sleep. Yeah. And we got a lot to do in a short amount of time to do it in. So we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.